Another water crossing. God. Right there. Stealth camp. Moving on to Lake Roberts here. Man, I had to do it. I had to put a tube in this morning. These tires are just uh, not holding anymore. They're shot. I shouldn't have pushed them this long, really. Whatever. I'll see, uh, I go to the bike shop in Silver City. See what's up. Booyah! road stretch here Ho! out into Silver City trying to make it there tonight take a look at what's going on I thought it was Tuesday all day it's Wednesday I'm having a great time here in New Mexico bugs are outrageous man skaters here in Silver City New Mexico I'm gonna grab a Motel 6 about a mile down the road next to a bunch of stores and restaurants I've been making my goals. I'm just like creeping in late at night. It sucks, but uh, I've been really worn out the past couple days. Probably going too hard and, you know, I'm kind of anxious to finish up, but getting a beard as well. Anyway, back on the road. 86 so far today. Here in Silver City, everybody. Just kind of resupplying at a gas station just to do this quick 70 mile jump down to Hachita. I guess I'll be finishing up tomorrow morning, which is hard to believe. Very early start for the border tomorrow morning, but. Anyway, got another 70 miles of wilderness and um, there's probably 30 miles of road in there. So this is like really the last day to get in there. So anyway, back on the road. Roger out in front of me. I bumped into him last night. He stayed at the same hotel. It's funny, man. He's quick. I keep meeting the goal, but I'm getting there late at night. But he's out there in front of me. I'm sure he'll he will dust me when he hits the gravel. He's got a pretty pretty souped up bike, brand new, ready to rock and roll. I feel like I finished already, even though there's more than 100 miles left. I think I'm done. I'm just like laid back. Not like gonna leave without food, but wasn't really too concerned. It's like, you know, I, I still got a good day of riding here. It does feel like the last couple days of school, whatever. You know, the grades are already in. Go ahead. Give me detention. Go for it. Just taking it easy here. Loving every minute of it, that's for sure. I can't believe the trip's just about over. I don't want to keep harping on that. I want to enjoy my last couple days here. New Mexico is hard as hell, boy. Don't let them fool you. That's no easy state, man. No. I'd say Colorado was the easiest, but it's still hard as hell. Silver City in the dust. See ya, boy.
Yeah, Roger's way out there now. That dude moves, man. Jeez. Here we go, yo. I am just flying today, man. I passed five, five cyclists on the road. I am just on fire, man. It's all about those aero bars. It really increases your speed drastically. It's just drastically. It's pretty awesome out here. Woo! Flying today, man. Out of control. It's almost like I'm ready to be done or something. Whoa! Sand trap. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. The sand trap here. These are tough, man. Ah. That's it. Ah. Everything was going fine. Whoa. Ah, Roger passed me. We're both flying along here today. Beautiful down here. Dangerous at night, just close to the border from what I hear. A lot of illegal activity. Smugglers. Get down to a little town. It's really just a convenience store. And we're ma making a left on the Interstate 10. It's always interesting riding interstates. Not my favorite thing, but big open shoulder, that's for sure. Just really not much to stop and look at, though. Kind of a thing, but whatever. This far into the trip, I'm not too. I don't really care too much about stopping and looking at anything at this point, I guess. But. getting to the edges of the country really it's so interesting down here like when's the next time I'm ever gonna make it down here it's gonna be quite a while I believe Silver City New Mexico is on the southern tier route so I'll probably be coming back through there at some point in time but as far as going south of that there's just not much out here guys I love getting to those ends you know you can really really feel where you're at on the map it's interesting Hungry. Wait until I hit this uh, Separ Road, Separ Road, and uh, I'm gonna drink a can of soup. Gone heading down. But almost to I-10 here. Just nothing out here. Whoo! So I passed uh, four people, and then Roger caught back up to me. So there's three people behind me. it down here on i-10 it's actually a frontage road which you're running here it's not uh it's not on the interstate which uh i don't know whatever just following a gravel road along the interstate checking out some abandoned buildings here this is crazy this is where you get bit by a rattlesnake for sure there's like lots of this stuff along the way seems like a tough area to be living in regardless kind of like what I would think of uh, New Mexico being. But anyway, about 28 miles away from Hachita. And I think the only thing in town there is a community center. So there's like five cyclists. There's four of us down here and another guy just went on. I think his name was John, I forget, from Idaho Falls. 
Um, but I think we're gonna be camping tonight in the community center. I think that's the only thing there. As well as a subscriber of mine is coming down to pick me up from the border, which is super nice. And they get to sleep at the community center as well. So it's gonna be a big old bicycle party down there tonight. And uh, should hit the border tomorrow morning. Early, early. Wild down here too. It's a, it's a different kind of wild. You can sense it. It's just so wide open out here. Easy ride east, boy. Easy ride. Jump a suicide car, man. Hell yeah, menthol moose knows what's up. like 20 miles to Hachita. Oh my god, this road is graded very, very well. Didn't miss an inch. Hell yeah, this goat head's for you. Okay, 65 miles. Bunch of cops. Almost there, can't believe it. 19 miles, my day is over. That's sweet, that's an early day. Back on the road. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this beef jerky. You don't wanna be coming too close to international borders of meat. But check out this true New Mexican road. So cool. Yeah. Be in Hachita shortly here. Oh, Roger caught me. He always says in the afternoon, man. And then he is like, poof, gone. The only reason I can still see him is because this road is just pin straight but man yeah starting to feel that afternoon pain but really going strong all day 71 miles in here by three I've been really uh really humping this last week out for sure cool. down here in Hachita this is uh, basically the only thing around um, you can camp for free at the community center or you can pay 10 bucks and sleep inside. I'm just gonna lay outside, do some cowboy camping. One more night, staying true. That's about it. They got food inside, they got drinks, they got everything you need. And uh, this is one stop shop. They close at 10 o'clock at night, which is sweet. So I got six hours to feed my fat face. And uh, that's it. Hechita, yo. 45 miles outside of Mexico here. That's it, found the community center and calling it quits for today. This is where I'm staying tonight. Um, there's actually some picnic tables over there at the park. I'll probably be staying over there where I might just uh, throw my sleeping bag down on the front porch at the community center because things seem to be pretty, uh, pretty relaxed today. I also saw a huge dead tarantula on the road. <laughs> it's like all I gotta do is cowboy camp one more time, man, you know, but uh, Anyway, not much is going on down here in Hachita, just this water tower over here. It seems to be a pretty big deal. There's a bunch of pictures of it here in the community center, and uh, I don't know, I guess I'll be checking it out later. But uh, I'll try to get the drone up in the air and uh, show you what's going on around here. But uh, Hachita is just a population of 49, and I'm really not sure what they're doing down here. But 
everything you need here at the community center. They got water, they got a kitchen in there. There might be showers, I'm not sure. It's 10 bucks to sleep inside. It's ten, uh, free to stay outside, and you know me. Keeping it tight, man. Keeping it tight with those tarantulas tonight, but. Um, Hachita is also a Continental Divide trail, trail town, so uh, hikers, uh, long distance hikers can also stay here. It's a nice spot, man, I'm not complaining. Um, I, th I thought there'd be a little bit more going on down here. That just seems to be the theme of my trip from Del Norte South. I thought there'd be a little more going on there. Just checking out the old water tire here. Pretty slick, right? Man. It's like open. I totally don't want to get bit by a snake, but... Right there. Stealth camp. <laughs> I'd stealth camp all over this shit. Sleep everywhere you want here. That's kind of how the town is anyways. It's really, uh, the guy was like, it's 10 bucks to sleep inside or you can sleep outside for free and use everything there is to offer on the inside. Bathroom, kitchen, power. Sleep on the porch? Those people are just sleeping on the porch. So am I. I don't know. Border Patrol over here. 